Hey guys, how is everybody? Let me know how you guys doing down below. I wanted to share with something with you guys that I got from the Lord a couple days ago. And at first I thought it was just for me and my situation, but I have seen so many confirmations since receiving it that I know that it's something the Lord wants me to share with you guys as well. So I just pray that this be something that really encourages you guys and gives you hope to keep enduring in your faith. So where I'm at in my journey, because I know we're all walking this journey of faith together, right? Holding on to certain promises that the Lord made us. Where I'm at in this journey is that my promise has officially died, right? Like it's done, 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 done. <laughs> It can't, it can't go any more dead than this, right? And, you know, I've kind of been asking God, like, where do I go from here? What direction do you want me to take? And things have been silent. And something that the Lord put on my heart is that many of you probably are in a similar situation. Maybe you have made a decision that you regret or have missed out on an opportunity that you didn't see was a blessing at that time. And what I want you guys to know is that God is reversing the situation. And I'm gonna share with you guys the confirmation he provided to me through the word, okay? So the day after um, that situation occurred for me, I was spending time with the Lord and he led me through my devotional to Isaiah chapter 62, verse four. And it says, you shall no more be termed forsaken and your land shall no more be termed desolate, but you shall be called my delight is in her and your land married for the Lord delights in you and your land shall be married. Now, when I looked up the word forsaken, because that first line, you shall no more be termed forsaken, stayed with me. So when I looked up the term, when I looked up forsaken in my, the notation of my Bible, it says that in Hebrew, the word is azuba, A-Z-U-B-A-H, and it means desolation. And desolation by definition means anguished misery and loneliness. And that is what many people feel when they feel like they made the wrong decision or they feel like they've missed out on an opportunity and they're filled with regret, right? And so when I looked in the commentary of that verse, it literally said, reversing the situation. See Isaiah chapter 60, verse 15. And I paused for a second because I thought that there was no hope left because the decision was made to close the door to the blessing, to the promise. And so I thought there was no room to move forward from here. Because it's like, how would God bring back that situation if, if we chose to close the door, right? Out of our own ignorance or whatever. Like, why would we expect for God to bring back a situation? But it just speaks of God's mercy and his love for us and so i actually ended up going to isaiah chapter 60 verse 15 and it says whereas you have been forsaken in hayden with no one passing through i will make you majestic forever a joy from age to age but this is what really confirmed about reversing the situation i'm going to read the commentary for that verse it says god will reverse the present failures and sorrows of his people through the open display of his own presence forever. Now, a story in the Bible that God has come, has brought me back to over and over again for my situation is the story of Lazarus in John chapter 11. If you guys aren't familiar with it, I encourage you to go read it. It's such an encouraging chapter to hold on to your faith when it seems like the things you have been praying for and been seeking God for have died. And so for those who don't know, I'm just going to give you a little recap. So Mary has a brother named Lazarus who is sick and she sends someone to ask Jesus to come heal him. 
in the time that she is waiting, her brother dies. And by the time Jesus actually comes, he's been dead four days. Now, during that time, it was believed that someone could come back to life within three days of dying. They believed that the soul hovered over the body and that there was a possibility that the soul would go back into the body within three days. But after the third day, that's it. The person has passed away. And so Jesus came on the fourth day when it was impossible for her brother to be healed and brought back to life. And when Jesus approached Mary, you know, Mary kind of tells him like, it's too late. But it's because Mary didn't know that Jesus had the power to bring dead things to life. And, and so he ended up raising Lazarus from the dead. And so when we look at our situations now, if you're going through this, this situation where it seems like your, your promise is dead, whether it be because of your situation or because of a, an opportunity that was missed, I want you guys to put yourself in the shoes of Mary. You have reached out to Jesus in prayer. And right now things seem really silent. And that's exactly what she felt like as she was waiting. But Jesus did come. And I want you to know that he will come. But it may not be when you think nor how you think. Mary didn't have the capacity to understand that Jesus could resurrect things that have died. She didn't know that he held that power. So too, we don't know the ways of God, right? We don't know what he's capable of, his thought process. We don't know the plans that he has, right? And it's it's like Isaiah 55, like God's ways are greater than our ways. His thoughts are greater than our thoughts. We don't know how he's going to resolve the situation or how he's going to reverse it. But what I, I encourage you guys to do is to be like Mary. When God shows up, even if it's past the point of you thinking there's an opportunity or it doesn't look the way you think, let God be God in this situation and let him show you his sovereignty over your situation and his divinity. And the way I knew that this was from the Lord that this is just not hopeful speaking, that this is truly God telling me he is reversing these situations. I went back into my notes from a year ago today, exactly today. And this is what I had wrote in my notes. Though these days we are experiencing are the days between the death and the resurrection. And that's exactly what he put on my heart with that story of Lazarus in John chapter 11. And that same day I wrote freedom, seeing freedom six times. So I know that God is going to deliver us. If this is your situation, I want you to be encouraged. God is going to have mercy on you. No matter what that circumstances was that you missed that open door, whether you chose to miss it or whether you just didn't realize it and you missed out on that opportunity know that God is going to have mercy on you and he's going to bring back the opportunity so be expectant of that and be open-minded in this time of silence enjoy your time with the Lord in seeking him not just for an answer but just worshiping him and looking to him from a place of victory understanding that he is coming through okay and so I just really wanted to share with you, you guys that because God showed me over and over again that same message. Um, and so I knew that I'm not the only one going through that circumstance. And I just pray that it encourages you guys to continue to walk in your faith, to not birth any Ishmael's, do not settle, right? Don't Don't try to look at things from the perspective of this world. Hold on to God and let him birth a miracle from your circumstance. Love you guys. Until next time.